So just continue on talking about our behind the scenes video of our Christmas lot display this time. Quick chat about the controllers, how we're operating all this. Uh, I'll try and keep this quick. It's very similar to last year. Um, so I won't go into much details. A couple of little minor changes. Come look at my house and check out the front yard. The lights are time to music. But like we had last year, here's our main control box. Uh, gets locked up. With a different key during the day. Um, what's going on with this mess in here? We have a Falcon F48. Okay, that's sending the data out via our cat cables out to our differential receiver boards, which are all sort of scattered around the yard. Same as what I had last year. Only little change I've made. Couples over near those trees. I am using smart boards. I found them to be working really well. So these ones here, I've still got dumb boards in them, first generation differential receivers. Um, those ones over there have got a couple smart boards. So what else we got going on here? So how does all the magic work? Because anyone's just clicking on this video. So we have our X-Lights sequences stored in FSCQ file on our Raspberry Pi. That's sending that, uh, data to our, I've just got like a little port controller it essentially ends up going to our pixel controller and that sends it out. Um, the receiver boards receive that information and we have 12 volt power supply which supplies power so then it has the power and data and uh, uh, earth to tell the pixels what to do. Uh, what else have we got going on here we have got a little sound blaster card running off the USB for the audio out and that's just going up to a little FM transmitter so people can tune their car radios in through things at all. Um, I was running an EDM transmitter so I just thought I'd try one of these CZE 05Bs. It seems to be working okay. I just thought it was more of a try. Um, he sort of sits on our top here just trying to keep it away from any electrical interference. It, gets, it doesn't get any rain in here, it's nice and chilled, but he's, just, he's got a little splash of guard on him. More so, just so we don't actually bump the on off switches, etc. Uh, what else have we got going on? Our mega tree is actually ran off Falcon F16V3. I've done another video, you can watch that if you're interested. Same as our uh, Tune 2 sign that's got a beagle bone black. But we're not going to scroll it. So that's how we are controlling our um, prop this year. Um, what can I show you? I'll just quickly show you slight differences between the dumb and the smart boards, I suppose. Which one we'll go in we'll go this one. This is fairly simple. I've unlocked these. Okay. So we have two each differential receiver board has an ethernet or cat cable running from that F48 uh, the power supplies sending that information out now this feeds our candy canes and our arches etc um, again vented with screens and fans I think it's pretty important to get some air circulating around these things now these ammo boxes these second year in working really well uh, if we walk over here Slightly different setup. These have got the smart boards. Um, as you can see, it only has the one Ethernet cable coming in, and then it has like a daisy chain onto the board. And these, as these are the first uh, versions, there was a little bit of a mix up with some of the resistors they fitted in, so we had to put these little Terminator um, resistor boards in it, but they've now fixed them up. So, but um, credit to Falcon uh, Pixel Control, they identified those faults and sent those parts out free of charge to everyone. So, real credit to them. Um, again, a couple of power supplies managing our ammo boxes. Not a bit of a common theme. I like to try and keep things a little bit common. So, what have we got going next door? So, oh, okay, just to give you a bit of a rundown. These props on this side of the house, controlled by a uh, controller. Differential boards there, those ones on that side over there, and they also feed out to the spiral trees, the arches and stuff. Box there, 
and the snowflake tree. It's got its own little uh, one receiver board and feeding the parent data to those. So that's what's going on there. I do try to limit the amount of pixels I have on each one of my receivers just to help minimize the power injection. Now, next door, I'll wander down to the smarts of it, so to speak. Now, also, a quick note. Uh, next door is all 12 volt sums us and I've got absolutely no power injection happening. That was just a bit of a, a funny little thing. And I've got to mount this up here. Yeah. Um, again, it's nice and sheltered in here. Uh, just, I'm actually just using one of these CG boxes. Let's try and undo this one up. Okay, what have we got going on? We've got a little 5 volt power supply just to power up our F48 board. Totally more than what's required for this water head. A little fan, a little vent in there, just in case things get a bit warm, but they shouldn't do. Now, this is receiving our data, and it's being distributed out via the cat cables out to each one of the boxes located around the yard for next to the props. So, uh, where can we access one? Now I've got a combination of smart boards and dumb boards next year. That's the beauty of these Falcons. You can sort of be fully flexible with what you want to do. Uh, we've got this ammo box here. It's got a couple of fans in it. A fan, a vent. Uh, it's got a couple of smart boards, same. Receives the data in. Obviously through there. Sends it out to those props. That's Daisy chained on. Sends it out to those props. Now these here controlling this side of the house you know, roof outlines snowflakes i'll keep the leads nice and short again i've got no power injection happening in any of these props i do have another one tucked just in there and that's powering all those ones up there and we've got another one located up here near the front of the yard and that's providing power and data to the merry christmas signs and the arches Again, make sure this one's got smart boards in it. Smart re receiver boards. Yep. A couple of power supplies. A, couple of, a bit of a 3D printed. Uh, meanwhile, little brackets. That's what I'm designed to come up with. Um, there you go. Seems to be working okay. We don't have any FM transmitters because on this side or anything like that because it's all data. The same sequences. The same sequence for both houses. All right, guys. Oh, we've got our mega tree. Touched on another little video. That's running its own uh, Falcon F16 V3. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed our little bit of a walkthrough. We've got a bit of cable management to still tidy up, like everyone. Um, but as I said, I'm actually quite happy with how this build came up on this side of the, on our neighbor's house. All right, guys. Hope everyone's at home. A successful displays this year if you're watching these videos and you're interested in doing a um, rgb led display and just avoid my waffling on probably you know, check out Oz christmas lighting uh, forums lots of great information there uh, lots of builds that's where i learned how to do any of this all right guys bye